guys, welcome back to my channel. For those that are new here, my name is Aubrey, aka Undead Glam. Make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell to see future videos from me. And if you haven't already, make sure you follow me on Instagram at Undead Glam and on TikTok at Undead Glam as well. So for today's video, if you couldn't tell from the title, I'm going to be turning myself into fine china. No, not the plate or the cup like my dad thinks I'm going to be doing, but taking the designs from fine china and painting them all over the face. But I'm going to have a little bit of twist to it. I'm going to be doing this in the style of kintsugi. Kintsugi is a Japanese art form where they repair pottery that has been broken using a lacquer that is golden to mend the pieces together. I've always been intrigued by this art style, so I thought I'd represent it with this makeup today. So let's get right to it. For the white base, I'm using the Makeup Forever Flash Color Palette. I'm using the end of a brush to apply it all over the face, and then I'm going in with a foundation brush to buff it in. When working with a cream paint, you want to make sure that you set everything with a translucent powder or else it will crease or transfer throughout doing the makeup or throughout the day. Next, I'm going in with the shade Headliner from the Alyssa Edwards and Anastasia palette just to brighten up the highlights of my face. For the brows, I'm using the Kat Von D Vegan Beauty Super Brow Pomade in the shade Whiteout and applying a very thick layer on the brows. Now that the base is done, it's time to start adding the cracks. I'm using the Anastasia Waterproof Cream Color in the shade Jet just to outline all the areas of the cracks that I want. You want to make sure that you vary in size, width, and shape with these cracks so that you have more dimension to the face. To get the gold lacquer look, I'm using the Kat Von D Vegan Beauty Gold Glitter Gel and I'm applying this to the areas that we created the black cracks with. You want to make sure the outside edge is still black to create depth. For the designs, I'm using a dark blue color that is a water activated paint by Festi Face. These are some of the photos that I found to use as references. You can either use references you find online for these designs or you can make them up yourself. 
Since this is a cracked and put together look, I'm making sure that the pieces don't really line up design-wise. I'm putting random designs on every piece. To add more depth to the designs, I'm using the color Dream It from the Alyssa Edwards and Anastasia palette. I'm going over the original outlines that I made as well as adding shading within each design. For the lips, I decided to add a little bit of a pop of color using a pink lip gloss. Next, I'm going in with the Sephora Lash Primer to get a good white base on the eyelashes, to which we will be going over with the Kat Von D Vegan Beauty White Out Super Brow Pomade. Since my top lashes blended right in, I decided to go back in with false lashes, which I'm applying first, and then adding the Kat Von D Super Brow Pomade and White Out all over those lashes as well. I think I'm missing something. Oh, that's right. Wigs and contacts. And that completes today's look. Make sure you please subscribe and hit the notification bell to see future videos from me. If you like this look, please leave a like and comment down below what you thought about it. If you haven't already, please follow me on my social medias on Instagram and TikTok at Undead Glam. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.